Hello everyone and welcome to Koru. Koru is a, an island on Second Life and this island belongs to Nelson Marlboro Institute of Technology. Um, in here I, you can see that uh, there is a New Zealand element with all the kaori trees and some bahutukawa and a little beach that would probably represent a beach in the northern part of the Northern Ireland. But here we're going to meet um, Miss Pixel Maid or Kiwi Belma, as she likes to be also known, and we're going to um, talk about Koru and Blends, a group, one of the group uh, relating to New Zealand. Hello, Kiwi Belma. What's up since last Wednesday meeting with Blends? Hello. Hi, Sabair. Blends, a virtual life education in New Zealand, is a, is a non-profit association where a group of people, just like you and me, get together and um, try to use virtual worlds for um, educational purposes. Um, it, it all started with this LENS project back in 2010, um, Second Life Education in New Zealand, where um, two islands, Koru and Kopai, were created. And on these islands, um, at the moment, we have... Um, two main areas where uh, foundation studies education is taking place at the Hyperdome and um, there is a midwifery um, clinic as well where I think it's like a polytechnic uses for um, midwifery studies. Um, mm. I could actually um, take you to uh, the Hyperdome. Um, would that be a good idea now, or yes? Oh, I just well, wanted to say that um, it's true. I mean, you're, you're talking about having universities here on uh, on Koru, but I know that there are many universities represented on Second Life, and and those universities have highland where students and staff have access to buildings, like you were mentioning about the midwifery unit. Um, but all uh, buildings and sandboxes uh, for projects like nursing and architecture, computer science engineering and um, there are quite a lot of round-the-clock events um, such as academic symposia and um, some full conference as well every year gathering speakers from around the world on specific subjects all of them free to attend yes yes definitely um, again this this is where we come back to well communities of practice I think it's Bringing the world together um, at a you know click of a button, yeah. and and because they're offered uh, as part of the institution educational establishments, it's really for learning and teaching. And uh, believe it or not, you are at a conference right now um, that's held at Nelson um, in Sunny Nelson. Yeah, Did you know that you're at a conference. <laughs> yes, have you heard? Have you have you also heard of uh, the virtual world's uh, best practice? Um, in education, it's called VWBPE, and they have a, a it's a conference that is held on Second Life only and gathered uh, speakers uh, from all around the world. So it's a 53 hours non stop, uh, round the clock uh, uh, conference, and uh, it uh, invites it uh, invites academics from around the world to uh, who are testing virtual worlds and are writing about uh, their research on uh, the use of virtual world for education and also online gaming for education. Um, it, it's, a, it, it, yeah. it's a really fabulous uh, conference and, and as I said before, it's uh, free um, to attend. So um, the, the, the main difficulty uh, for this is, is, is really, um, you know, time zones. But have you managed to attend a, a conference this year, um, Ms. Pixel May? Um, yeah, I was going to mention the virtual world best practice. Um, I've heard about it and um, I knew about it even last year, but I was afraid, too afraid to even attend, let alone present anything. But uh, this year I went to SL Languages, Second Life mm. Languages uh, Symposium. And what did you present? Well, it was more of a show and tell. Um, I teach English lessons um, in Koru called Kiwi English. Um, it's really um, aimed at intermediate level learners of English with the context of New Zealand. So 
we use um, New Zealand uh, uh, famous people, famous places, um, the culture, songs, anything and everything to do with New Zealand. And um, I presented that. Would you? Um, would you I want took. Uh, yeah, sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Would you want to take yeah, us to no, the no. Macedon? Um, yes, um, because that's where it all starts for right. me. So if I if I make a move and perhaps invite you there with the uh, button of push of a button called yes. teleporting, definitely yes yeah. teleport. Okay, and we can still talk while we're teleporting. I don't know if you can record this. Yes, I can. That is what I'm doing. So oh. everyone. Um, Miss Pixelmate has just teleported. You can see that she's disappeared from my screen and she's going to offer a teleport to the second sim called Kofi, where there is a Niper Dome and that's uh, where she starts her Kiwi English, her first class. You can see on my screen now that I have a teleport uh, offer and I will click on there and you'll see me ticking. All right then. Okay, so we are on Kofi now, aren't we? And yes, yep. Yeah. Um, this is this is well, really, the teleporting place where um, you can find out about the Silanes Project um, group here and the founders, um, the the people that made it happen, um, and they are members of the Zealand's, um Association at the moment. And um, if I can um, continue talking about it as we walk towards our Foundation Studies build, is um, uh, we would like to get some more projects underway. Um, this time, perhaps without so much the funding and financial assistance, but because uh, we are all interested and keen in using this virtual world, or oh, many of them, um, we'd yes. like to get a few projects underway. It is, uh, it is something that I have uh, um, uh, noticed, um, you know, a good thing about a virtual world is that we all have the same interest and the users are really keen on sharing knowledge and sh sharing experience. And um, this, is the, this is what I've discovered, uh, uh, you know, in, in the time, the two years that I have spent here on Second Life. Um, the people I have met, I've given a lot of their time in testing uh, virtual environments and I must admit I do too. But tell me, what, what is this type right. of dome? Well, um, this, um, this is the hyperdome. Basically, it can turn into a catwalk um, where you can watch uh, avatars uh, uh, showing off their latest fashion. Um, you can see a whole range of um, hairstyles, dresses, costumes, uh, looks, um, and we can put these on and make ourselves stand out from the rest of the newbie avatars, as I call it. So you're saying and that uh, it is important for people or for students or even for teachers to actually customize their own avatars? It's, it's a very personal thing. I, I think it is important. Uh, it, it is nice to look different in some ways. And, and, and yet you're still part of a, a very same group. So um, I like it. I, I, I bought three or with um, Linden dollars, uh, quite a number of costumes and looks. But I, um, here I bring my students in the very first session to do just that, so just to have a bit of fun. Mm. Fun factor is, I think, very important in virtual world. We dress up and, and then we talk about why we chose the look uh, the hairstyle, the dress, and so on. So yeah. we create a whole lesson out of it. Um, and it's, again, thanks to uh, the wonderful people at uh, Slan's project who created this and made it possible. And, and now I'm, I'm using it um, as part of my session. I don't want to um, take up too much time by um, showing all the other areas, especially holidays. Uh, perhaps. Um, you could take us to uh, a rather special holiday. Um, I tend to visit that place um, uh, every now and then. Um, yes, let's go there. We're going to go to Edge Nation. Um, Edge Nation is a place, as, as its name uh, indicates, it's an island that is dedicated to education, but it's uh, specifically 
um, um, focusing on language learning. Uh, but let's go there. Um, so I will teleport there okay. and I will show you what a holodeck, what the holodeck uh, is all about. So what, what is being shown just now um, is um, a lecture theatre. So this place is what we call a sandbox. And on this sandbox, uh, we have what we call also a holodeck. And the, uh, the, the room that is uh, raised now, the room that is shown here, is uh, one of the scenes, the many scenes that are contained in the holodeck. So I hope that we will be able to uh, remove that and show you another scene. But this place here, um, for example, is used for concerts and guest speakers. So guest speakers, for example, can put on the ground a, a, a board with uh, their PowerPoint and uh, do their presentation. And, and we do that quite often. So let's try to see whether we can uh, remove this. Okay, yes, we have oh, managed oh, yeah. to remove it. So let's uh, try. I will try to show you another scene. Um, and the advantage you can see here on that blue, blue circle, this is the center of the holodeck. And on the menu, if I click here, you will, I'll get a menu at the bottom here that gives us many options. Um, so they are categorized in um, uh, topics. So here, the seating and meeting, you will see that uh, you have the mega temple, and this is what we've just seen. But if I go back, uh, if I go back, you have a tiki hut, a tree house. You've got all sorts of things, all sorts of uh, options. And if I look at housing, for example, um, we can raise a, a library room. So let's do that. So you will see that now the, the house, the library room is raised into a box uh, that is contained on that sandbox where you can build things. And if I zoom in now, I can see uh, Miss Pixel made and myself. Uh, we are in a library room. And in this library room, there, there can be um, a lot of things um, happening, like maybe a murder mystery, or it can be a haunt, uh, haunting li haunted library. You can have a ghost here. You could, you could, uh, you could definitely raise, uh, you could put a, uh, um, a, a ghost, uh, someone, one of the students could play a ghost, for example. I could turn myself into a ghost. Hang on a second, I oh, will do that just now. Um, mm -hmm. I will then I won't be able to see you. Yes, you will. It's, uh, you can still see her. You can still see my ghost. Hang on a second. So uh, I'm displaying now, what I'm displaying now is the many outfits that I have, and I'll show you now that I'm wearing. You will see that my avatar will change um, its looks. So I'm going to turn from a cyborg to a ghost. Wow. So it, it's going to take a bit of time. Uh, nice. Sure. <laughs> Should I call Ghost Doctor? Yes, if you know anyone who can, uh, I'm really happy. I would be very happy to actually play with them. Yes, so uh, you can see that uh, having uh, that type of room actually is, is quite interesting um, because you can really put your students into a, an, an immersive environment and you know you can interact with the objects that are there as well. So here I tend to do murder mysteries with my students of French um, but also with other teachers uh, we use the, holodeck, the holodecks quite often to uh, plan uh, different um, um, different lesson plans and um, that they can then use with their students. And I know of an American uh, woman who used um, the uh, plot of the murder mystery I had organized on an island that I'm, we go I'm going to take you to um, for French. And she raised uh, one of the scenes here and uh, did a uh, murder mystery with that same plot with her students. So it's it's all very good. Um, I'm going to uh, uh, get rid of this scene and I will talk about the little sandbox before uh, we move on to another place that okay. I would like to show you. So yes, so this, this, uh, this place here, as you can see, is, is uh, quite empty. It looks like it's a, a, a sandbox. And <laughs> what is a sandbox? A sandbox is an area that, uh, where um, an avatar can um, put things on the ground and they can start building. You cannot put objects in all areas. Some areas are restricted for visits only. <clears throat> And it's an interesting aspect for language learning as well as uh, you can give instructions to students. Um, 
um, you know, and build uh, things, and students uh, tend to enjoy it quite a lot.